Welcome to Gradient Flow Snapshot number 17. Modern AI systems typically require enormous computing power. Many tech firms can meet the cost, but most academic labs cannot. A team from the University of Southern California and Intel Labs described in a recent paper how they used the popular video game Doom on a single high-end workstation to train AI with state-of-the-art performance. The team put all the required data into shared memory, where all the processes could access it instantaneously. They tested their system, called Sample Factory, against a Google Brain algorithm on two tasks. Sample Factory trained in a quarter of the time it took the Google Brain algorithm, and it significantly outperformed the original DeepMind AI on 30 other challenges. Sample Factory is now being tested on much simpler devices. See Gradient Flow newsletter number 16 for more. Natural language processing and other text computational fields typically rely on large deep learning models. But many real-world applications demand small model size and low computational power. A new survey from Microsoft AI researchers analyzed six different compression methods for models used in industry NLP projects. It highlights methods that help reduce the model size and lead to lower prediction latencies and low power. See Gradient Flow newsletter number 16 for more. China recently hired more than 100 veteran chip engineers and managers from Taiwan, reports the Nikkei Asian Review. China has the world's largest number of new or planned chip plants. There is a concern about a brain drain from Taiwan and other Asian countries into China. Taiwan has lost more than 3,000 chip engineers to China in recent years. But building a chip industry quickly is not easy. China's chip talent is still extremely insufficient, as it is building many big projects at the same time, says Gartner analyst Roger Shang. To learn more, visit gradientflow.com newsletter and subscribe. Thank you.